The title of my presentation is Dialectical Importance of Costumes in Performance of Traditional Yoruba Alarinjo Theatre. My name is Babatunde Allen Bakari. Introduction. The Yoruba Traditional Alarinjo Traveling Theatre means a traveling dance group, a group that is highly peripatetic in nature, made up typically of groups of masquerade with flamboyant costumes and individuals who are agile and energetic, according to Adedeji, 1972. Here, here we have uh, points associated to traditional Alarinjo traveling theater. Number one, it is a highly itinerant theatrical performance of a gungun masquerade located around numbers of Yoruba settlements, such as villages and major towns. Point number two, Alarinjo performances were occasionally initiated by important personalities, such as kings and chiefs. Point number three, gradually, the Alarinjo uh, performance uh, became open to the general audience at the later period in the history of Yoruba people, because previously, uh, it was common with uh, the noble and the rich people in Yoruba society. But as a time, uh, with time within a uh, space of time, it became uh, people's theater and no longer for only the rich. And the next point here, uh, Alarin Joe Theater shares many qualities and similarities with other theatrical traditions such as Kabuki Theater of the Japanese and Peking Opera of the Chinese people. Because they wear elaborate costumes, beautiful costumes, beautiful attire, and their costumes are always an integral part of the story they are about to tell to their audience. And the last point here is that the female roles in Alarinjo performances uh, were, act were acted out by male troops members because uh, female were forbidden in participating in Alarinjo theater. And another point that is very essential here is that the precise date of inception of the Yoruba traditional Alarinjo traveling theater is uncertain. Uh, although its inception is traced to the Agbegijo, uh, that is the one who dance with the woods. The origin of traditional Alarinjo theater can be traced to the Egugu Masquerade Court. It dates back to the early part of the 17th century when Ologmi Ologbojo and Olog Ologbo of King Ogbolu set up a troop of Masquerade and Akunyumba to entertain the king. And the next point here is that existing documents about its general origin show that it belonged to the John of the Mask or the Mask. As an entertainment, it originated from the religious rites of masquerades or maskers, known, known as ghost mummery. It links with court entertainment, bring it very close to the court masquerade of the 16th century in Europe. Traditional names the troupe are called by the Yorubas are Egungun, Akmidon, player of spectacles, or Egun Alare, mask players or the Alarinjo traveling dance troops. Uh, Alarinjo performances were occasionally initiated by important personalities such as kings and chiefs in the Yoruba society. Their performances gradually became open to the general audience at the later time. Uh, let us move to the thematic preoccupation in traditional Alarinjo theater. Uh, the Alarinjo mask Dramaturg built its repertory and filled with playlets, especially with Efe, satire, ad, according to Adedeji, 1981. Typically, performances are often adopted the style of storytelling, folklore, and folktale narratives. Again, uh, the themes sometimes may center around love, reward for patience, fantasy, jealousy, clashes of culture, immoralities, Tradition versus values, reward of evil and compensation for doing good. 
Or sometimes we may find themes that has to do with dramatic biographies of favorite heroes and heroines. And sometimes it may be a kind of some, stra some straightforward didactic pieces. And here we have features and presentation of Yoruba traditional Alaranjo theater. Larger than live mask of different images, size, sizes, and shapes. Colorful costumes, body gesture, and movement are all artistic elements that contribute to the totality of presentation of Alari Joe performance to the spectators. Point number two. The Alari Joe style of lampooning, caricaturing, mimicry, and buffering is perhaps one of the biggest artistic trade secrets. Point number three, Alaringo often addresses matter that has to do with collective survival of the, Euro, of the Yoruba society. Therefore, their remarks serve as check and balances in the Yoruba society. And the last point here, the success of Alaringo performance depends majorly on the cultural traditional material of the community or society which the performers belong to. Now we'll get to the features and presentation of Yoruba traditional Alaranjo theater. Masquerading remains a pertinent feature of the traditional Yoruba Alaranjo theater. And also very important, the Agbe Gijo means dancers with wooden face masks started off with performers covering or hiding their faces from their audience until the beginning of 1940s when the uh, masks were removed from the performance and we could now see the faces of the real actors uh, behind the mask. The Alaringo uh, performances uh, make use of satire, lampooning, elaborate costumes, gestures, and mask to address contemporary issues of the community uh, that serves as practical contribution to the conditioned social, to the conditioned social action and foster social interaction amongst the Yoruba people in Nigeria. Here we have the picture of uh, Yoruba traditional Laringo masquerade. That is the first picture. The importance of costumes and masks to Yoruba traditional Laringo theater. Uh, it is ritualistic, entertaining, and educative. Number one, masks are used in symbolic way during performances. The masks are usually created to specifically mimic predetermined individuals or animals whose facial structure, features, and statistics are imitated. The creation and usage of masks does not only allow for the uh, mimic or lampoon of targeted individuals in the society. It is also a way to hide actors' face behind their mask. The larger than life and highly elaborate structure of the mask evoke excitement from the audience. Mask puppets in Alaringo tradition are used by the Yoruba to criticize uh, antisocial behavior, according to Robin, 1997. Here, uh, I have the second picture of the Alaringo, three of them standing uh, by, uh, side by side. Uh, the, the two at the two corners are wearing uh, almost the same, while the one at the middle uh, is wearing uh, a, a bit different uh, costume to the two. In conclusion, the Yoruba traditional Alaringo masquerade integrated dramatic devices such as lampooning, mimicking, and caricaturing with the use of mediums such as masks, costumes, and body makeup to satirize delinquent individuals and general public, no matter how important the offender may be. The masquerade enjoy the trust bestowed upon them by the society. Hence, communal immunity to them is sacrosanct and extremely uh, sacred to the people. Finally, the exception of the Nigerian television NTV in the, in the year May 1977 in Ibadan, now NTA in present day, and the growing cinematic trend and culture was the cause of death of the Yoruba traditional Alaringo masquerade in the country. 
The Alaranjo players grew tired of moving around the country within their meager game and faced with their individual worsening health conditions. And later, television and cinema then became an avenue to showcasing their talent with better remuneration. Thank you for listening.